in some ways I feel like the the whole the circles I got pulled into really preyed on the fact that I already felt that I was deficient and that I wasn't enough. And so if they can give me the formula to fix that and right. I can continually be fighting against myself who's not enough to right. be all those things and and it is it is I mean that that doubling thing really spoke to me and I feel like only in recent years am I even landing back into myself and and even catching myself when that kicks in it's it's almost like a well it's like a socialized socialized thing it's like this reflex to be and it's beyond the cold experience right it's the good girl it's the patriarchy it's all the things right <laughs> it's like I mean we're just kicking against the current in a lot of ways but I definitely resonated with that that sense of doubling and feeling that that divide that division and and finding integration again has been right. such a process. And the, and the integration isn't going to be who you were back then. Right. You know, I was I wasn't going to go back to be the person I was when I was thirty. Right. Mm -hmm. I was now forty one, and I was probably forty five or six by the time I actually felt I knew who I was. Right. And so yeah. who I was was a combination of all of that, but it, it's yeah. not recovery. Isn't going back to who you were before because you've experienced too much and you've learned too much. Yeah. And that's part of the, if we want to think there's a positive of these experiences, it's that we, most of us are now so aware of how these things work yeah. and we're able to spot them quicker we're able to help educate others and stop others, you know, help others from pre prevent them from getting involved in situations like that. You know, so the, the quote, the blessing, although I hate using words like that, but <laughs> the yeah. blessing, I guess, is, yeah. you know, having this now human experience of one of the worst things and being able to survive it and do something with it. 